We gotta pull the chicken ninja stunt tonight. It's best to move chickens at night. Good morning, boys. All the boys out doing chores. I see he's got his helmet on this morning. You ready to go on a bike ride after chores? Check this watermelon out. I must, I'm gonna call it, man. The whole vine's dead. But the, the watermelon's huge and I can't imagine it growing anymore with the vine looking like that. There, that ought to get it nice and cool by the end of the day. Papa? Yes? Dana can hold a chicken. He can? Kai. He can hold Kai. All by himself? Yep. Wow. Oh, we want to have a watermelon. I think so. I put one in the creek. Gideon can hold Kai. All right, let's no. see it. Oh, don't mess with his bike. Where are you going? Bye. You want to? Here, let's go get on the road. Lily, ca carry his bike. I'll carry him. Jonah, you get Kai. Well, you want to hold a chicken? Yep. Okay. Well, let's go ride your bike first. I, I don't know how long it'll take him to catch a chicken for you. Where's your caddy? Oh, here she is. He loves riding this bike. I think that was a win. That was a win. Oh, I gotta raise your seat. Let's do that now. Oh yeah, look. He can he can hold the kai. There it is, Gideon. Try it now. We raised your seat. See if that keeps you from getting your feet caught. How's that, buddy? Sit on it. Sit. There you go. That's better. Good job, buddy. I was wondering, would I really need a neck knife? Do I really need to carry around two knives? I've got a knife in my Leatherman. Well, I've been finding out that even though it's still under, it's under my shirt, it's still easier to get at. I, I found myself grabbing it to cut the watermelon, and then. I, use, I still use my Leatherman up there by the bike to hold down that bolt while I screwed it in. So, I'm using both of them so far and I'm getting used to it being around my neck. So, so far I like it. I'm seeing that the T-Birds pretty much de depleted this. Let's give it a rest before they absolutely destroy it. We'll move it on. Things aren't recovering as quick now that it's uh, getting colder. We don't have as much sunlight. So, but I still have a plot over there and then there. And by the time I come back here, I might be able to run this another time and then I'll just run them to a different area. You guys hear that? It's the sweetest sound. And that's the sound they make more when I move them to new grass. They just absolutely love it. It's just like a little chirp, a little purr, something like that in between. It's just the coolest little sound. It makes it all worth it moving them on a regular basis. Just for that, just to know that they're happy. And when they're happy, they're more productive and they're gonna taste a lot better and be more efficient on their food. It's just a wonderful situation. Guys, remember those instructional videos I was working on a few weeks back? One was on predators, how to identify predators, and then better yet, how to stop them in the first place. Yeah, these are like 30 minute plus instructional videos. The other one is on the 10 steps I use to grow most of my own food, working less than 10 hours a week. This is new stuff more detailed stuff than you've seen on our vlog and whatnot. Well guys, that's in a special summit. It's called the Mother Earth News uh, slash Marjorie Wildcraft Grow Network Summit and it's Homestead Summit. And guess what? I'm not the only one that's in it. There's, a, there's like 35 amazing speakers. And now is the time to register. It's up. Look, here's the page. I'll leave the link in the description. Marjorie does a wonderful introduction there. You can get your free. It's free guys. It's free. And there's some cool speakers there, Je uh, Jeff Lawton, Joel Salton, I'm going to be listening to that one, Pastured Poultry Tips, uh, Paul Wheaton on, on cutting your heat cost by 10, 10 times. Hey buddy, what do you got? Oh yeah, you playing with your fire truck. Okay, back to the show here. 
Uh, what's another one I'm interested in? Oh, Pat Foreman, one of my chicken teachers and uh, mentors, doing home chicken processing. And then, of course, me, I've got two talks in it. Uh, David the Good, I'm gonna be interested in that one, Better Gardening Through Experimentation. And then I've been following John Kohler lately, and I, I like how he does things in a small area. Top five ways to grow more vegetables in small spaces. Look, there's all kinds of stuff. This guy, Justin Rohner, seven ways to garden and get paid. Ooh, I like to, uh, everybody likes the sound of that one, I'm sure. So I encourage you to go ahead and get registered. There's nothing to lose. It's free. You, gotta, you can get registered now up until my birthday, October 31st, Halloween. But the, no reason to delay, get on there. I think they're doing some pre-event pre things for those who are already signed up, so you might wanna go ahead and get in on that. Link's in the description. Mother Earth News Fair coming up. Well, the online version. Yeah, this is like for people who can't go. Birthday. <laughs> birthday. birthday. It's, this is like for people who can't go to the, the live Mother Earth News Fair. Oh, I just put Gideon down and I come out and I see they're tearing into something. <laughs> you bought a toy. Yeah. You bought a toy with your own money. Pop, look at that remote control truck. That's awesome. Okay, they got it on. Wheels are glowing. Green and red. Okay, you're okay. Ready. okay try it, buddy. Whoa. There you go. Look, okay. I'll help you out. Okay. This is frontwards and backwards, and this is left and right. <laughs> what do you got there, buddy? Swiss chard so I can make eggs and Swiss chard all put together. Okay. They're going to make their own lunch today. You had this bright idea. You just brought this in. And uh, you're going to cut it up and fry it? And then you're gonna fry some eggs? I'm gonna fry some eggs in it so it'll be Swiss chard and eggs in it. Okay, all by yourself? I love chard. You do? Why? I do. What do you love so much about Swiss chard? Uh, I don't know. That's good because you didn't always love it. There you go. Oh, do lots of butter. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Perfect. This one looks like a double. That one looks like it could be washed better. Okay. How many eggs are you gonna cook? Uh, four. Okay. What made you want to do Swiss chard and eggs for lunch? I just I wanted to do it in the um in the morning time. Yeah. But then I didn't get to. Okay. Well, I'm so glad because we have so much Swiss chard out there. I'm glad you're using it. Jenny, you're you're a great cook, man. That looks amazing. That looks pretty amazing. You all done? Yeah. Whoa, what an, ama what an amazing job. I think that's your first time doing that, right? You've cooked eggs, but you've not cooked vegetables and eggs. Yep. Good. Enjoy, guys. You think you're gonna like it? There it is. You think you're gonna like it? Is it good? Is it good? Oh, I see you got an obstacle set up for your remote control. You guys get pretty good at it, huh? Yeah, watch. Whoa! All right, let's see how fast it can go. What? We just had dinner. A wonderful dinner. I think we should go get that watermelon out of the creek. You want to? You going with us? No. All right. Mr. Brown and his uh, pot, big boy. Your big boy yeah, underwear. Yeah, yeah. Now that you're two. I bet it's nice and cold now. Yeah. Jonah, can you help him get it out? Yeah. Woo! That's heavy. And <laughs> You guess it's ripe? I'm thinking it's ripe. Me too. Me, me. It wasn't going to grow anymore. All the mine was just yeah. all dead. <laughs> Look, y'all gonna make Mr. Brown do it? No. Do you see how huge this 
watermelon is. It's gigantic. It's too big for this knife. It's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, so it's our last one of the year. Let's hope that it's ready. It's ready. I think we can tell. Ooh! That's not any good. Let's wait for the red one. Here, it's nice and cold. Well, cold. me. That's good. You like that, Mr. Brown? <laughs> no words for Mr. Brown. I think he does. It's dripping off your face. And this is what Mr. Brown was staring at. It's a game changer. That's what you call a dead cat, which it blocks out the wind. Before now, we haven't been able to find one for this kind of camera. But we've had, we had to go all the way to England. We didn't go, but we had it shipped from there. And we're pretty excited about it because that means we can be outside in the fall and in the winter. And you guys will still hear me good and it won't sound like this. <sighs> like some of our earlier videos when we were filming in the winter without one of those things. It's dark outside now. We're gonna move Teabag and his posse out of the chicken tractor and into the chick shop. So let's first close the chicken tractor door so that nobody gets out. Let's prop up the chicken. Chickshaw roof. One reason we have a opening in the roof. Hey Donald. Peace. Look, plenty of room, plenty of room. They have all this room in here, and then they have this. They could spread out, but they all clump up together. We got plenty of room right here. I'm gonna shut this so nobody escapes in the excitement. Okay, open up the chicken tractor. I should have a prop for it. Oh gosh, you guys have been laying a lot of eggs. Okay, I've propped it up with their nest box. I think that'll work. All right, that went smooth. I got two reasons that I can think of right now for, for moving them at night. One is because there's less pecking order issues. They just kind of get up in the morning and there everybody is. And the other reason is they sleep there, they wake up there, and I've noticed that they're quicker then to go back there the next day. So they'll wake up in the morning, they'll get out, they'll do their thing, and they'll know that there's, that's their home and they'll go back. Now, maybe that's not 100%. Hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But most of the time, they go right back in there, especially since there's a bunch of other birds going. 